making lunch. Ooh. Hey everyone, welcome back to my little kitchen. It's me, Neon Sprinkles. Okay, I know you guys are like, what the heck? Why do you look like a hot mess, first of all? Yeah. <laughs> Second, I, you're asking me what is on my head. Okay, so this is like the shirt of a sleeve. Shirt of a sleeve. <laughs> This is just the sleeve of a shirt that I cut off, or I didn't cut it off, someone cut off, and I put it on my head so I don't get food in it. I mean, I don't get my hair in food. I put it on my head so I don't get hair in my food, okay? So, with that said, we're making nachos. Okay, so we're making nachos, and I do this a couple of times for my birthday. It's like a special birthday meal. And so it's like my homemade smother nachos. It's not really homemade, it's like out of a can and a, and a bag. <laughs> but it's my recipe, it's smothered, it's ooey, it's gooey, it's meaty, it's savory, it's mm -hmm. But there's a little special hidden secret thingy in my recipe that I do every single time I make these. And so I hope you guys like this. Let me know down in the comments if you want more and don't forget to subscribe and all the liking and <laughs> Oh yeah, and I forgot to say, my birthday is next week. Well, I'm filming this on a Saturday, even though there's supposed to be a video uploaded. Anyways, my birthday is next Saturday, the 17th, and I'm going to be streaming on my birthday, so if you guys want to stop by, go ahead. I'm going to be playing some video games. I might even do a little bit of activities for you guys, so please stop by. I would love it. I'm going to remind you again on one of these days of the week. <laughs> I hope you guys can really join because I would love to have people join my stream on my birthday because you know, quarantine and all this, I can't have like a real party. So hope you guys come to my birthday party. Okay, so first we're going to spray this pan with some oils. Hey, do you guys like my little tiny pantry with all the hip new seasonings? <laughs> I honestly love this thing. It came with the house and I like the color inside of it. It's pretty cute. Oh goodness, <laughs> what the heck? Why did it come out like that? Okay, now we're gonna take the ground beef admire it for a second guys i'm so sorry for the flickering lights i can't bring my studio lights in here i don't want to explode so we, we just gotta have to flicker when you see some white stuff because you know camera stuff and whatever <laughs> okay so we got the pan heating now i'm just gonna open this up because i'm gonna carefully get this meat out without dropping it on the floor it's already like crumbling <laughs> oh <laughs> i would have cried if that hit the floor Okay, so we got it on the grill, or pan, whatever. So I'm gonna just smush it into little pieces. I'm not adding any seasoning to this because we are using taco seasoning and I think that it would be just overkill. I usually just, you know, brown it. Okay, so the meat is done cooking. It's all brown and luscious, but it's like drenched in all this oil. And we don't want that in our nachos, so I'm gonna drain it in this colander here. It's a silicone colander I got off Amazon. No sponsors or whatever. I sound like all the other YouTubers. <laughs> it's it's really good. I like it. And don't worry, the oil is not gonna melt through this thing. It's it's silicone. It's it's very sturdy. Okay, so I'm gonna return this meat back into the pan and get this ready for the taco seasoning. Oh yeah, that looks yummy. Okay, so I'm pouring some water in to the meat for the seasoning. And I like to use McCormick or just any seasoning really. <laughs> but this is nice, I like this. 
So, ooh. So basically you can use any type of seasoning you want. I think we all know how to make taco, seasoned taco meat, right? Right guys? I like to stir it in into the water, get everything all moistened, and then I'll turn on the heat. If you guys hear that scratching, that's Oreo smelling this delicious meat. <laughs> so that looks well coated, and so I'm gonna turn on the heat and let this reduce down and get sticky. Okay, so this looks pretty much done. Everything is nice and thick and freaking just delicious looking. So I'm gonna spoon this into a bowl. Then we're gonna get all our other ingredients and we're gonna set up our nacho customization station. Ooh, that was nice. Anyways, yeah, we're gonna set that up and we're gonna get building our nachos, so. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Our last piece of goodness going right into the bowl. Look at that. Looks so good and hot and steamy. Okay guys, now we are at our customization station. I'm so cool. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> um, I have everything I need. I have the ground beef, the cheese, the refried beans, the, the other cheese, and the, what are they? Chips, <laughs> the chips. Okay, so I'm gonna show you my secret part of this recipe so only the neon sprinkles community knows this don't tell anyone okay so you take a tortilla you put it at the bottom and i bet you're like why like, why would you put that there um <laughs> when you rub beans cheese and meat on this bottom part and then layer your nachos like the normal way when you're done eating them, you'll have a tortilla with all the leftover stuff on top and you can roll it up into a burrito. Oh my gosh. That is my favorite part of these nachos. So I hope you guys can use that tip when you guys make your own smothered ooey gooey nachos. So let's get started. So I'm gonna take these refried beans and just... <laughs> so we're just gonna do some of that. We're gonna rub it in. Yeah. Yeah, get all around the edges. This, <laughs> all of the ingredients right now smell so good. I just, I can't wait to eat this. Oh, um, you, you just keep, <laughs> you just keep rubbing. Yeah, what is that? Is that a bean part? You guys see this like black thing? What is this? Oh, it's a, be it's a bean skin. Investigation over. <laughs> so the beans are laid down now. Now you take your cheese. Come here, little buddy. You take your cheese and you... Yeah, yeah bro. Yeah, whoa. <laughs> I think I got some of my shirt. <laughs> okay, now you just rub that into... We don't do a lot of meat here because we need it to layer evenly between the chips and you know how the chips can swallow up all the meat. So we just wanna do enough meat to where the taste of the taco seasoning is still there without there having to be a mountain of meat on the bottom. So I got these chips, but you can get any chips that you want. Try to get the ones that aren't like super salty cause then it'll just like off, off. <laughs> it'll just overpower the, 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 the. man, anyways. Look at that. Oh, so corny. <laughs> what is wrong with me today? <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> so you take a handful and you just kind of sprinkle it around. Yeah. For a second I thought I was not recording and I was about to just throw everything. <laughs> so you, you do a nice layer. Make sure you cover up majority of spaces. And get all around. So now in comes our beans in. Yeah, yeah. I'm so weird, yeah. <laughs> okay, now you do the same with the cheese. <laughs> I'm 
shaking it like it's gonna like transfer. <laughs> sounds so weird is this. <laughs> Anyways, so that's done. Now we add our little meat in. I'm like really quiet because just <laughs> such a gorgeous moment here. All right, the next layer is more chips. And it's totally okay if your nacho goes, your nachos go over the pan a little bit. But as long as you have like a big enough oven and it won't hit the, like the top. I'm not talking about like a mountain of chips, but you, you know what I mean. So the last part to this assembling is the shredded cheese. Oh my gosh, I'm having a hard time. There we go. <laughs> Are you kidding me? This is already spilling cheese and I just opened it. I just opened it. All right, now sprinkle it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is so messy, but it's so fun to eat. Wow, this is a huge chunk of cheese. <laughs> Let's see, break. Nope, it won't break up. So I'm just gonna leave that for another time. I know you're like, that's a lot of cheese, girl. You gonna be constipated. Yeah, I probably am, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna be happy on my birthday and constipated. So there's nothing wrong with that. Okay, so it is now time for me to throw this into the oven at 350 for 15 minutes. For about that time, I don't know. <laughs> so, yeah, let's go. Okay, so take your fabulous oven and uh, set it to bake. And 350 for... Oh, what the heck? <laughs> 15 minutes. That should be about right, I hope. Let that preheat. Okay guys, this thing beeped. It's been 15 minutes, so let's see this glorious smothered nacho. How do I hope? Uh, oh my gosh, that looks so good. Amazing, 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 amazing. Okay guys, so I just got the nachos out of the oven and they look gorgeous. Some parts are a little bit browner than the others, but that's how I like it. A little crisp on the crisp, you know? Anyways, I'm gonna give it a taste test and see if it's as good as I remember. All right, so I got my chip. It's like super hot. Here we go, don't, don't fall. You guys don't even know. <laughs> I have so much fun making this video. If you guys want me to make more cooking videos in the future, give me your guys' recipe or you will find a recipe or you want me to do some more of my secret recipes. Let me know down in the comments and like this video. Please let me know because I need to know before I make another one. That was a lot of work. <laughs> guys I'm going to be streaming on my birthday October 17th and guys please stop by we can do some activities you can watch me play some games we can just chat one on one not one on one but you know <laughs> I'll see you guys Saturday bye